Hey guys, doing CGF here once again with another Giants video. Big game today. Huge game. The New York Giants traveled down to the Big Easy to play the New Orleans Saints. Both teams in the thick of it. Can the New York Giants get to 6-8? and eight? That's the big question. Can the New York Giants win today? Can Tommy DeVito do it again? We saw the game last Monday night. Tommy DeVito led the Giants down the field in the waning moments of the game led the Giants to a Randy Bullock field goal, an upset of the Green Bay Packers, a key win over another playoff opponent. So can the Giants, can the New York Giants continue to win a season that most people felt a few weeks ago was a lost season, a season where Daniel Jones goes down with an ACL injury, where Saquon Barkley misses time, where Andrew Thomas misses time. You have two horrible losses to the Dallas Cowboys. Can the New York Giants, after a couple of tough losses also this season, you talk about the Jets lost, a game they should have won, the Bills game they, they should have won, a poor performance against the Las Vegas Raiders. Can the New York Giants, against all odds, can they continue this late season playoff push? Can the Giants get to 6-8? and eight? Can that game next Monday night on Christmas Day in the mid window of the afternoon, can that game mean something? Because right now, if the Giants can find a way to win today in a place, quite honestly, they did win the last time there. But if you look at the history, except for that pseudo home game for the Saints at Giants Stadium back during Hurricane Katrina, the New York Giants don't win that often down in New Orleans. I think the last time they won prior to that was back in 1993. So can the New York Giants, a team that many people have given up on, and many people are still doing draft content at this point, people are still talking about who's going to be the quarterback next season. Can the New York Giants, can the Giants, a team that people gave up on, can they win today? Can they get to six and eight? Can they leapfrog some teams? Perhaps by four o'clock today, the New York Giants might be in a playoff position. It is possible if the dominoes fall the right way. They, because yesterday, for those of you who were watching the games, the Minnesota Vikings lost in Cincinnati against the Cincinnati Bengals. As a result, the Giants are only a game out on the loss side to both the Minnesota Vikings and the Green Bay Packers. Both those teams have seven losses now. So, at this point, the New York Giants, is a te they're a team in flux. No one knows exactly where the season is going from here. They lose today, the season is over. Let's be honest. If the Giants lose today in New Orleans, the chances of them making the playoffs are pretty slim. And the chances of them winning another game this season is pretty slim. Because you look at the schedule, next three games, you got the Eagles twice and you got the L.A. Rams. Three tough games. These games are not going to be easy. If the Giants are going to pull off the improbable, get to eight and nine or nine and eight, they have to beat some of these teams that, quite honestly, are going to be favored to win. So sitting here right now on Sunday morning, looking at the Giants situation, what's going to happen? You look at what Tommy DeVito has done so far with the Giants. Out of nowhere, he's come out of nowhere. No one expected him to have this impact on the Giants. He's improving week after week. Last week, great game against the Green Bay Packers. This week, he's going to have to do the same because playing in New Orleans, regardless of what Saints team you're playing, is never an easy task. You're dealing with the crowd noise. You're dealing with usually having to score more than 21 points because the other team, the Saints, generally score a lot of points in that dome. So the Giants are going to have to keep up with the Saints. So... I don't want to get ahead of myself, okay? But if the Giants can win today, if they can get to 6-8, and eight, we're going to have a very interesting Christmas Day game. And a lot of people are going to be worried because, quite honestly, the Philadelphia Eagles are one of those teams in the NFC right now who are the class of the NFC. There's four teams in my mind that are the class of the, of the NFC. You got the Eagles, you got the Cowboys, you got the Lions, and you got the 49ers. In the AFC, it's a little more of a cloudy picture. You have the Baltimore Ravens and – probably the Kansas City Chiefs, and that's it. And then you got a bunch of teams that are fighting for playoff positioning, a lot of teams that are flawed. 
that's the key to the NFL this season. There are a lot of teams that are flawed, but there's a lot of teams that have opportunities to make the playoffs. And it, as you know, as you saw those two Super Bowl ball runs 15 years ago, 12 years ago, the New York Giants found a way. They got hot at the right time. They got healthy at the right time. No one believed the Giants were the best team. They probably weren't the best team those two years. But they found a way to get hot at the right time, and they started winning games, and they got into the playoffs, and then magic happens. Will the Giants get to the Super Bowl this year? Probably not. <laughs> Let's be honest. Giants are probably not getting the Super Bowl. They're probably not going to even get into the playoffs. But we're sitting here on December 17th, and the Giants are still alive. You're still seeing the graphics on TV saying in the hunt. Hey, what else can you ask for? A team that was dead weeks ago at two and eight is alive. And honestly, I'm excited to see what happens. So let's get into a quick game preview. Not going to get into too much. We're just going to go over a couple of things. And then I will give you a score prediction. What I think is going to happen today. I think the Giants will be competitive. I, I'm hoping they are because I could see a letdown. I honestly could see a letdown, but right now I think the Giants are a team that's on on the up escalator. So hopefully that continues, and hopefully that continues down in New Orleans in a couple hours. So let's get into the game preview. Let's talk a little bit about the game. Let's talk a little bit about the statistics. <laughs> All right, so I alluded before, the Giants have not been very successful down in New Orleans. The Giants lead the overall series 17-14 to 14 against the New Orleans Saints. I talked about a little bit earlier, the Giants' last meeting with the Saints was in 2021, where the Giants beat the Saints 27-21, to 21, a final in overtime, and Saquon Barkley had that nice run at the end of the game. That was a very impressive win for the Giants. A place, as I said before, the Giants just don't win in New Orleans. Let's look at the games in New Orleans of late. That was that game back in 2015 with Eli was a barn burner. They lost that game 52 to 49. Then you go back to 2011, Giants got blown out by the Saints 49 to 24. 2009, they got blown out again 48 to 27. Then 2005 was the game I alluded to that was at a neutral site, MetLife Stadium. Well, the old Giants Stadium. The Giants won that game 27 to 10. And then going back before that, they lost in 20, 2003 to the Saints 45 to 7. You see the commonality here. I talked about it in my preview. The Giants need to score points in New Orleans because generally speaking, the, the Saints will score a lot of points, at least in this century. That's been the case. So, Right now, looking at this game today, the Giants need to find a way to score points, and they also need to find a way to slow down the New Orleans Saints because you know it's going to be loud, it's going to be crazy. They're going to be able to put some points on the board. My take about this game right now is Tommy DeVito needs to continue to play well. He needs to continue to show that he can be a franchise quarterback in this league. This is an extremely important game for Tommy DeVito as he is trying to get himself – cemented as an NFL starter. You saw what happened yesterday with the Indianapolis Colts with Gardner Minshew. There is always an opportunity in the NFL if you perform to solidify yourself as a starting quarterback. Gardner Minshew right now is a guy who came out of college. No one really thought he had any chance of starting the league. He was on the bench in Philadelphia. Didn't really play that much. Now he's in New Orleans. I mean, now he's in Indianapolis and he's looking great. So Look at Tommy DeVito right now. You hope that he has a good game today for his own good because this feel-good story, I want it to continue because if the Giants lose today, we're going to go right back to talking about quarterbacks. We're going to go right back to talking about drafting quarterbacks in the draft. If Tommy DeVito keeps winning games, he's going to stop that. He's going to assert himself as a, a potential replacement of Daniel Jones or someone who could compete with Daniel Jones next year in training camp. So big game today. So what's my keys to the game? I'm not going to give you three keys. I'm just going to tell you the Giants just need to keep up with the New Orleans Saints. They got to minimize turnovers. They have to force whomever is quarterbacking for the Saints. They got to force him to make mistakes. And if the Giants can do that, I think the Giants can win this game. So what's my prediction? Do I think the Giants win this game? I do think the Giants win this game. I'm going to predict the Giants win by seven points. I think this game will 
be a little less close than last week week's game against the Packers. I think the Giants are the better team. I think the Saints are a team that isn't as good as they were in previous years. I think the NFC South is a down division. I think they beat up on each other. I don't think the Saints are as good as people may think they are. I think the Giants, unfortunately, they dealt with a lot of bad luck early in the season. They dealt with a brutal schedule. And I think right now the Giants are the better team and they will win today by seven points. And it sets up a great week of talking about football because next week on Monday night on Christmas, the New York Giants will play the Philly Eagles down in Philadelphia in a game that's a do or die game, a game no one's going to expect them to win. I want to have that argument. I want to have that discussion. But if the Giants lose today, we're not going to be talking about that because if the Giants fall to five and nine, the season most likely is over. Any chance of them making the postseason is over. And we will get back to talking about quarterbacks and replacements for Daniel Jones. So, with that said, I am done. Please like, share, and subscribe. I don't really have anything else to say about this game. The Giants just need to need to win. Let's let's be honest. They just need to find a way to win. They need to win tonight. They have to find a way to win. And who knows? Giants win. The world is their oyster. Six and eight. The season will continue. With that said, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this content. Appreciate you taking the time out of your busy day to listen to this, watch this, whatever you may be doing. And enjoy your day. Enjoy the Giants game, hopefully. And I'll talk to you soon.